This is my method for attaching the backs to earrings. I use Loctite Super Glue Ultra Control Gel. It's my favorite. It doesn't move around much. I always pre-bake the fronts of the earrings. Doesn't matter what they look like. This is just frost white glitter from Primo, pre-baked into discs and your earring backs. And it's pretty straightforward. I glue it on first. See, there I am, gluing. This part, I can't do with liquid clay. I don't like doing it with liquid clay and bacon bond. I've had more failures with the liquid clays and bacon bonds. I always use the super glue just to attach the posts. Once that's done, you want to let it set up. Just sit and wait. Let that cure. It's going to keep it in place for the next part. You don't want it moving around or popping off. Now, this is what I do. I use Bacon Bond. And you really only need a little drop, especially if you're only doing one or two earrings. This is going to make enough for a lot of earrings. Drop of bacon bond, drop of clay softener. I put two or three drops. This thins it out, makes it much easier to spread to get the, it's almost like another glue. This is gonna help attach the raw clay of the backing to the front. Just mix that together with a paintbrush and paint a light coat onto the back of your earring. Make sure you cover the metal pad at the back of the earring too. The bacon bond will adhere to the metal. And next you have the thinnest strip of clay you can get and just cut it out. I do the same shape and size as the earring I'm working on if I can. The color you use doesn't matter. Personal choices here. This is a paper towel. This step's actually really important. You wanna just press and get that connected from the raw clay to the baked clay. I like to make sure I'm pressing kind of a big area and I like to get right up to that post. And it's going to come over the edges of the earring a bit. And actually, an interesting thing, you don't have to use a paper towel, but different paper towels have different textures. You might find one you like, a particular look. This just happens to be what was available, COVID and all. So I have this extra bumpy one in my studio right now. <laughs> that overlap, you just slice off with your blade, work your way around, get the excess as best you can. This one snags a little because there's glitter in my white clay. It goes much smoother depending on the earring front you choose. And then this step, rather than baking it and sanding, I just go back with the paper towel and push pretty hard. You can wipe that raw clay off of the baked area where you don't want it to be. And this usually goes pretty quickly once you get used to it and you're not doing it right in front of a camera. Kind of slows things down. So wipe off the extra. Press those edges back down where you sliced. And there it is. The next part is you fully bake your clay. Give it another full bake, at least 30 minutes, and you have a nice secure earring back. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe and stick around for more videos. Have a great day. Bye.